I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about the divergence and integral tests. In problem number 21, I'd like to use the integral test to show that the series sum k going from 1 to infinity of k times e to the negative 2k squared power either converges or diverges. All right, so I want to use the integral test to show that this series either converges or diverges. And the way that I go about that is I'm going to set up a very similar integral to what I have here as a series. So what I want to do is let's consider this integral, the integral from 1 to infinity of x e to the negative 2x squared dx. And what the integral test tells me is if this integral converges, then this series converges. If this integral diverges, then this series diverges. So I just have to look at this guy and I get information about this guy. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, I can see right now a good idea here would be <coughs> to use a u substitution. And um, also, this is an improper integral, so I might want to rewrite. Okay, so uh, first thing, let's just rewrite this guy as an improper integral. This is the limit as b goes to infinity of integral from 1 to b of... Um, x e to the negative 2 x squared dx. I can make a u substitution here. I'll let u be equal to negative 2 x squared. So du will be negative 4 x dx. I'm close here. I have an x dx. I don't have a negative 4 x dx. So I'm going to put in a minus 4 right here, which means I need a negative one-fourth outside of the integral. And I can go ahead and put that all the way outside of the limit as well. So I'll put my negative one-fourth right here. So I put in this negative four, I put in this negative one-fourth, and now I'm ready to make my substitution. Okay, I still have a minus one-fourth sitting out front. I have the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral of uh, e to the u, um, and th <clears throat> then the negative 4x dx is my du. And now I can change my limits of integration. Let's see. If I plug in 1 for x up here, I get minus 2. So this is minus 2. And if I plug in b for x, I get negative 2b squared negative 2b squared. All right, now I'm ready to take an antiderivative, which is fairly trivial. So I get minus 1 fourth. I still have limit as b goes to infinity of, uh, now if I take the antiderivative of e to the u, I just get e to the u evaluated from minus 2 to negative 2 b squared. Okay, let's plug it in. I still have minus 1 fourth sitting up front. Um, I still have a limit as b goes to infinity of, now let's plug things in. Uh, I plug in negative 2 b squared to u and I get e to the negative 2 b squared minus, plug in negative 2, and I get e to the negative 2. e to the negative 2. All right, now I'm ready to take a limit as b goes to infinity. As b goes to infinity, I get infinity here, which gives me minus 2 times infinity. Minus 2 times infinity is negative infinity, and e to the negative infinity is going to 0. So this whole term in the limit goes to zero. And what I'm left with over here is I have 
a minus one fourth times what's left over, which is minus e to the negative two. So that's times negative e to the negative two, which uh, the negatives cancel if you like. And I could rewrite that as 1 over 4e squared if you like. But at the end of the day, all I really care about is that that's a number. It converges. This integral converges. What does that mean for me? I did this whole thing to figure out, does this guy converge? Does this series converge? And because I used the integral test, I figured out that this integral converges, which means that this series converges. So th the answer to my question is the sum k going from 1 to infinity of k e to the negative 2 k squared converges by the integral test. We are done.